Okay, welcome to episode 8 of Rising World. Um, just have a quick look. Um, when you look at those carrots and you look at those, these are definitely smaller, which is quite strange since I, po I planted these ones first. So uh, interesting how those have uh, grown a lot quicker. And our watermelons over the side, um, they still have a fair way to go. Our potatoes are looking good, but um, yeah, interesting that uh, these three carrots and two watermelons uh, are a bit slow with the growing, where carrots on the left are growing quite quickly. Okay, what I'm going to do is um, pick up the block 110, I'll put it down here. Uh, looks like it's starting to clear up. That's good. Okay, so we'll pick, put down um, the block here. Um, just turn snapping on. Let's just get a bit closer so we can see what's happening here. Okay, so that should be it there, and go across, like so. Now I just want to make sure that it hasn't gone out. Didn't quite go as far as I wanted it to though. So let's get the hammer out. Get that again. I need to extend it out more. I think it's as far out as it's going to go. Is that changing any? It goes to Z5 and that's it. Let me um, try rotating it. I think that's going to be fine. Let me check that. Yep, that's fine. So we'll go down here. And we'll probably have to do a special size for that last bit. That needs to be widened. It's as far as I can go, so I'm going to just reduce it there, make it a smaller one. Sometimes um, th this works well, sometimes you get some issues and you have to work on it. Um, So uh, now what I need is to go there, reduce the size. It 
to do it then want to increase that. Like so. Hmm. Well, that's not working. Um. Turn it back on. We'll have to adjust that. So sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. That should lock to that and it's not. Okay, so feet. Try that. Did it go out? No, it did. Okay, better um these again but I will probably do it off camera you kind of get the idea of um, what you need to do to actually put down your floor um, and I need to check that is there a gap don't think there is I'll find out uh, later on now what I want to do um, Down here we've got um, our well, which uh, there's no water in it at the moment. But before I do that, I want to just move some stuff around. So let's uh, just move these up here. Um, I want to move the shelter, so we'll pick that up. And I'm going to move it over here. Put it down. That's kind of out of the way. Now this leaves the ch the old chest. Now if I look in the chest, I've got all of these uh, items in it. So I've got watermelon, iron ingots, uh, and uh, various tools. Now if I want to move the chest and I don't empty it first, this is what happens. Now I can move the chest, but everything's come out of it. Uh, let's put that down. I need to put that uh, um, in a less uh, cumbersome area. So what's happened, the watermelon is completely destroyed. Um, everything else seems to be okay, but the watermelon just, uh, that was it. So let's... Um, I'll pick up the um, the tools first, get the rake, um, potatoes, um, grab that, ingot, right, and we've got a carrot and another tool down there, so we will go down there and pick those up, there's also a carrot that's being flung all the way out here, we'll pick that up, make sure you've if you do that, make sure you've picked everything up. And of course, uh, I walked into the hole. Lucky I didn't break a leg. Um, and we also had this dumpling carrots. They went all the way over here. Quite an explosive effect. Okay. So we'll go down and we'll pick up the carrot and the axe down there. Let me um, put this away. And I'll put that away as well. Now I need to put a fence in there because I'll keep on trying to pull into that hole. 
Now what I want to do is the draining, you know, and this um, this hole is going to be full up uh, with water, or it's going to have some water in it at least. So the game won't allow that to happen, it doesn't automatically do that. Um, but logic says that uh, if you've got a hole and you've got all this rain coming in, that it's got to fill up with, with water. So what I'll do is um, go into the squiggly mode. Uh, G M space one one being creative and then if you press F5 you go into this section here press five and I can now put water in uh, do a little more it could be enough yep that's enough Okay, squiggly mode, uh, GM space zero, back to survival. Okay, so now we've got uh, the moving water, and you can see is that carrot uh, floating on the surface? Hard to tell. So you can see the carrot, which is lighter, is actually floating and the axe which is heavier is right down at the bottom so well done to the developer for um, getting that right so let's uh, pick up the axe one primitive stone axe and we will pick up the carrot like so let me just check uh, yeah food's 99 water's at 100 but now that I've got the water here can I drink from it so let me do a check so I'll press F to drink water and that works so now I don't need to go all the way down to the ocean to drink water I mean if you if you drank seawater by default then uh, you, you would get sick um, but uh, until I actually had uh, drinking water up here that was the only way I was going to be able to of uh, dehydrating okay so the next thing I want to do is to did those grow a little bit bigger I think they have yeah they're almost the same size now so I think those are growing a little bit as well so the rain seems to be helping with the the crop what I want to do is to go to here and I think it's furnishings. I'll go down here. We got a uh, lantern. Now, a lantern needs um, the workbench and it needs two iron sheets. So, I want to get two lanterns. So, let me go to iron sheets and I want four iron sheets. Drop those. Go to inventory. Just stick them up into there. Go back to crafting, go to furnishings, and what I want is two lanterns. Now you can get torches, uh, which only need two sticks, um, but if you get a lantern, um, I think it looks a bit better for, we, we're going to be using them in mines, uh, and each of them need two, two iron sheets, so um, craft two of those. Go back to infantry, it's in position 5. Okay, let's get out of this. We'll head up to where we'd set up the, the mine. Still pouring with rain. First time we've had rain in, um, I mean, we've done se seven episodes and it hasn't rained since uh, since we started, so this is welcome. Okay, so what we want to do is, um, when, it, when the night falls, it's going to be dark in here. So we want to put up a lantern inside the cave. Now uh, we can hang it up on this rock, like so. that'll stay there and we'll turn it on and now we've got the uh, light 
Perfect. I was thinking that um, I put the uh, lantern outside to make it easier to see where the cave was, but um, I mean from down here you can see where the cave is. I mean that stands out so we won't need to put a lantern outside. What I'm thinking of doing is sometimes I'm going to be doing some work with the smelter at night time and I'm going to need to know where the smelter is. I'm going to put a lantern up here and I'll hang it up on this tree. Turn that on. Perfect. So now, now I can see where everything is um, and I can do some nighttime work with the um, with the smelter. And uh, yeah, that was that was uh, that was pretty much what I wanted to show in this episode. Um, now the thing is, I'm not too sure. You can see water going in there, but you can't actually add water. I uh, have to just see if um, there's more work that's going to be done with the um, with the trough. Um, but yeah, you can't actually go into creative mode and add water because it'll add, it'll just put it onto the ground. Um, food is at 94. Might just um, have a carrot. Just keep um, at about 100 percent. There we go. I uh, don't think the temperature changes at the moment. Um, I'm not too sure whether we've got any defense or anything like that. So um, I do know that um, I've got my food and water goes down and if I fall down a hill I will, will break a leg at the least. Um, but I uh, don't know if uh, anything else, these top two are actually working. But um, yeah, when the developer gets around to it, that, that will be fine. What I'll do is I'll fix up the rest of this um, offline. Um, can be a bit tricky to kind of line it all up. Um, so I'll do the edge bits. And tomorrow we'll probably go in and fix the, the corner pieces. Um, and then we are going to expand the house. Anyway, if you enjoyed the episode, uh, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so, and I will be back for the next episode tomorrow. Thanks for watching, see you then, bye bye.